It's on here at the uh, halftime report. Cheers. Cheers. Brought to you by American Cheers. Express. Right back at you. Always a pleasure when we're out here for CES to have you with us, Mark. What you and sipping on, Mark? What you well. sipping oh, on, baby? Oh, this is good. Gin and juice. juice. Okay. Oh, <laughs> hey, can you play that real quick? Can we put get uh, can we get that? We will. I'd be happy to. Anything you guys want to hear, just give us 30 seconds of notice. Okay. Got an unlimited <laughs> playlist. Uh, it's a 65 to 40 game. Uh, Cleveland's coming off their worst loss of the year against Minnesota, lost by 28. They are down by 25 at the half, 65 to 40. And Chuck, you had said that you know that you knew Toronto's young guys, even with two starters out, would be fired up for this one. But Ernest, they don't have scar tissue. You know, like sometimes you know when you see a golfer, he has a he remember the last time he didn't have a good round, and it, they talk about scar tissue. These young guys from Toronto, they haven't got that. You saw, heard the guys talking about it. At some point, you've got to get over the hurdle. But those young guys, they don't have all that scar tissue. This kid, Potal, is balling. He's out there. He's active. Doug Collins always says something. One of the most underrated talents in sports is energy. And this kid is balling out here. Jakob Potal, and he's got uh, three block shots. Five points, but the main seven thing, rebounds. But the main thing, Ernie, he's just active. Yeah. And you also, I'll tell you what, Van Fleet is playing great. Van Fleet is playing great. And uh, you just got to give these guys a lot of credit. They're playing hard. And this kid, other one, Pasco Siakam. Siakam. Yeah. Easy for me to say. But yeah. I love the energy. And this team, they, they, they draft very well. Uh, but they young guys are coming on. This is the type of game with those starters out. It's going to help them later in the year. Yeah, starters out, and then DeMar DeRozan, who's been on fire, has two points on one of six shooting. American Express teammates uh, come to us from the Cleveland Cavaliers want to compare what LeBron James is doing and the rest of the starters. He's outscored them 13-9. to nine. The rest of the starters going 3 for 29 from the floor, and that includes Isaiah Thomas, Kenny, who is 0 for 10. Uh, when you look at Isaiah Thomas right now, um, Playing in his fourth game, he's had a three starts. What do you what do you see? Oh, it, it's definitely rust. Uh, you, you're seeing rust. Those are shots, capable shots, shots that he, he knocks down on a consistent basis, which are, aren't going down. And his ability to get those shots uh, off and get them off quickly is a little bit limited as well. But I, I look at the same way. Uh, we don't have to watch all ten of his misses, but I look at the same way. <laughs> I look at the same way as Golden State sometimes I look at Cleveland because they've been to so many consecutive straight finals. This isn't a big game to them. Like, and no matter how if you look at sports and people say every game, every game is not the same. And the energy level that they have played at for so long, for so many uh, years, sometimes doesn't translate in a game which supposed to which should be, it could be a pen game. And Golden State does it all the time, and, and then they, they, but they have that switch that they do turn on with inside that game. It's almost kind of like, Shaq, I'm going to do this and see if I can get out of it. And when I watch Golden State do that, and I see in Cleveland at times does the same thing. And, you know, uh, as far as Toronto, you know, once you get to this league, that means you can play. And, you know, a lot of young guys really don't have the opportunity to play, but, you know, there's an unwritten rule in the locker room next man up and you know, the young guys for Toronto they're playing well and they're moving the ball right here we, we know Cleveland will collapse on defense all you got to do is move DeRozan does a great job of finding an open man and they're playing with a lot of energy Kenny and I agree with you Cleveland's just going through the motions right now but the young guys now for Toronto have the opportunity to play and you just have to keep moving the ball against Cleveland and they're moving the ball they're filling the ball they're shooting well everybody's playing good and it's because of the ball movement. They're playing with great energy in Toronto Raptors. Ernie, let me say one thing. The, the Cavaliers are probably one of the most least talented, from an athletic standpoint, teams in the league. They got a bunch of good players, but they're not. You see the difference. One of these teams going in fast motion, one of these teams going in slow motion. That's one of the reasons they're not good defensively. Uh, they're older. But I, I would go on a limb. I, I guarantee the, the Cavs are the oldest team in the league. Uh, they got a bunch of older players. We have to get underdog to crunch that stat but, and but see if. Regardless of the elder statement, statesman on the on the team, there is no competition for them in the Eastern Conference. I, I I wouldn't say that because there's a couple things they have to worry about. They got two elephants. So you're changing your tune a little. No, bit too, I think my they, tune I, hasn't changed. Right no, now. I think they are the team to beat. Okay. But there's two things they got to worry about. What's that? 
Everybody want to know what LeBron's going to do. That mm-hmm. could fra- fracture that team. And Isaiah Thomas wants to get paid. And I don't know if the Cavaliers are going to give him $200 million. And when you start getting things like that, I've always told you, I hope LeBron finishes his career in Cleveland. But that's all everybody's going to be talking about for the next few months. But those two things right there, and they start going through the motions, they could be beat. 48% shooting by Toronto in the first half. The Cavs shooting 33%, 0 for 7 from deep. And it's 65 to 40 at the break. Back with more American Express halftime report after this. Welcome to the American Express halftime report, live from CES and. In- 